when you set up a dial indicator to check in play there is a magnetic release right here you lock that on sometimes it's hard to find a good spot but the first thing you do is you preload your indicator so there's a release here you know the indicators moving I lock that down and then the next thing I do is I come around and you got to make sure it's nice and tight because they will move on you and they can be tricky right there because all I'm looking for is the difference of how far it moves that way versus this way. You zero your indicator, usually what I do is I'll pry the crank one way, zero it, pry the crank the other way, after I've zeroed it the other way, and that gives me my measurement. All right, right here we're gonna check crankshaft in play. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm prying the crankshaft back and forth. There's my zero. I zero my indicator right there. And then I'm going to pry the crankshaft forward. So when I pry my crankshaft back and forth, I'm checking the end play, there's zero. I pry it to there. Each big number is worth 0 0.01 millimeters. I come to here, the 10 is worth 0.1 millimeters, 0.116. Each one of those marks is worth 0 0.02 millimeters, so I'm well within my specifications on this one. When I'm checking my crankshaft in play measurement, I'm prying the crank one way, and then I'm prying it the other way. You may have to go on an adjacent lobe the cam moves one way or the other and that's how you check crankshaft input right here is the crankshaft in play service limit which is 0 0.54 millimeters or 0 0.213 inches that's basically as big as it can be here is the production value 0 0.04 to 0 0.205 millimeters or 0 0.0016, 16 ten thousandths to 81 ten thousandths is the production value. So anywhere in between there and there, or there and there, there and there is a good number. 